Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 900 New Hampton Way in Merritt Island, Florida. This three bedroom, two bath home is located in the Catalina Isle Estate subdivision. And as you can see as I walk up toward the front of the home, we are located on a large corner lot. Uh, if you're not familiar with Merritt Island, Catalina Isle Estates is in central Merritt Island, uh, conveniently located next to shopping. We have a Publix and a Target very close by, uh, great schools, you name it, it's within five or ten minutes. Now as we walk up toward the front door, I'll show you we have a nice little fountain here on the right hand side, and in fact we have a lily pond here to the left as well. So walking through the front door, you'll see immediately, even though it will take the camera just a second to adjust, we have an amazing view of the pool in the backyard as you walk in. A uh, newer pool, nice large pool with a spa. Uh, it is heated as well. Now you'll see when you walk in the front door, we do have a tiled entry. Uh, off to the left here, we have a wood-burning fireplace and a large living area with a very nice laminate floor. Now one of the nice things about this home is its circular floor plan. And uh, what I mean by that is it has a great flow. If we come over to the left, you'll see the kitchen. I'll show you that in more detail in just a moment. But as I walk around to my right, we'll see the dining area, which again we'll look at in more detail in just a second. And then as I come around, you can see we have the front entry. So it has a very nice flow to it. And then we have the bedrooms and bathrooms down this hallway. But let me back up just a moment to the front door again. So on our left, as I said, we do have the main living area, nice and bright when the shades are open. I'm going to work my way to this corner to show you that we have a very large kitchen off this way. We have this beautiful wood-burning fireplace with a stone in front of us. And then as I continue turning to my right, you'll see that we have the TV and entertainment center, or what works as an entertainment center these days, right below the TV. As we walk toward the kitchen, you'll see we have a large island and plenty of counter space and cabinets, so lots of storage here. Uh, it's a nice kitchen for many reasons. One, it's nice and bright. We have this great lighting above us. Uh, you'll also see that there's plenty of room to work, not only on the cabinets, but if you're cooking with somebody, there's also plenty of floor space so you're not bumping into each other. Uh, the view from the kitchen is hard to beat. Not only can you see the pool, but this is a waterfront lot. We do have a canal behind us. We'll head out there in just a minute with a boat dock uh, that leads right out to Sykes Creek. Before we get too much further, I'm going to turn to my left and show you that we do have a one-car garage here, currently being used for storage, uh, as many garages are. But a nice space there. There is a door that leads out to the exterior. So if you, say, keep a lawnmower in there, it's easy to get it in and out without having to open the front. Now working our way toward the dining area, I'm going to actually go to the corner here just to give you a nice overview. Very nice decorative touches here. And then you can see in this shot that we have a large pantry here, 
And then we also have a closet here for storage that's uh, deeper than you might think or expect. So lots of storage in here. Now as much as I'd love, you, love to take you out back to show you the pool, I'm going to first take us down the hallway to show you the three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Again, it's a 1,400 square foot home, three bedrooms, two bath. Uh, one of the first bedrooms we see is a non-master bedroom. It is tiled, as is uh, every part of the home except the main living area that has that laminate flooring. So a nice large closet here. Now one thing I'll point out while I'm here uh, in this bedroom is that the windows have been updated. Uh, many of the homes in this area were built in the 1960s. Some of them still have the original windows, so it's great that this home has the updated windows. Across the hall, we have the non-master bathroom. Here we have a tub-shower combination. A nice pedestal sink. And a skylight, which lets in lots of natural light. Now as we work our way toward the end of the hallway, off to the right we have the second of the non-master bedrooms. So we have two windows in here, nice corner area with lots of natural light. Uh, we have a Cat 6 line that runs through the home. So again the bedroom is tiled as is the uh, master and the first bedroom that we went in. You can see that the doors have been replaced as well. Uh, many of the homes when they were built had a, uh, a flat wood door put on here. You can see this is a much more contemporary look. Now we are looking in the master bedroom now. Again, nice and bright. We have these French doors that were put in recently. I'll show you those up close in just a moment. Uh, we have a transom window behind the bed here. So that is something you could open up if you chose to. But frankly, uh, there's so much natural light in this room already, you don't need to. Now we have the master closet here with more of it behind this door. Let me open the door there just to show you that there's a nice closet there. And uh, here's a view to wake up to. So if you're waking up in the morning and you have your curtains open, beautiful French doors looking out to this just amazing pool. We'll definitely head out there soon. And last but not least in the house, we have the renovated bathroom. You can see it was very nicely done. So we have the uh, shower here with a little seat. Nice tile work. And of course the floor is tiled. Let's work our way out to the main living area again. And while we do that, I'll tell you we have a newer roof in the house. Uh, the house has both electric and gas. So even though we have, well, I'll show you since it's right here, we have an electric range that could be converted back to gas at some point if you wanted to. Uh, the pool actually has a gas heater that will heat either the spa or if you want to it will heat both the spa and the pool. Uh, here I'll show you before we walk out the door we have a large slider here part of it is behind the curtain 
but I just want to let you know that we have a nice, a really nice, large opening here. Take one last look at the kitchen before we head out back. Now not only do you have a beautiful pool back here, but we have, I believe, almost 1,700 square feet uh, enclosed in the screen enclosure. Let me work my way to the corner here just so I can give you an idea of how large the screen enclosure actually is. So great space for living in Florida. So not only is the area under this roof enclosed, the entire pool is enclosed, and then the area off to the side as well. As I said just a minute ago, the spa is heated as is the pool. They can be heated separately. In other words, the, pot, the spa can be heated uh, by itself. So we have a nice sized backyard here. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is a corner lot, so you do have a lot of space. The other thing that you have is we have the uh, mature uh, greenery. So there you have the bougainvillea, and then we have nice greenery here, which gives you a bit of a buffer between you and your neighbor. And before I take you out to the canal, going to walk you this way to show you that on the side here we have a nice uh, little area that not only houses the pool equipment but we have a bit of a potter's shed here as well and then beyond here we have a shed that has power uh, already run to it. Uh, I can't turn the light on right now, but we do have a light, we do have power. Just a neat area back here, so offers a lot of opportunity for projecting. Now I'm walking toward the dock. Let me first turn back toward the house. Again, we just have this huge screen enclosure, really nice. When the weather's nice, you could live out here. <laughs> and being in Florida, the weather's almost always nice. So, as I uh, said earlier, this is a canal front home. Uh, we have a nice little walk down to the dock here. We also have the boat lift to the right. Let me just bend down and open the gate here. And then I'm going to back up just to give you an overview. So this is a straight shot out to Sykes Creek. A nice deep wide canal. Now this could be a boat lift. It does have electric and it does have water. So there you can see the electric. As I pan to the left you can see that we do have fresh water running out this way. So as I walk to the edge of the dock, let me just do a quick zoom here to show you. It would be very easy to get your boat out. Just beautiful. And I'll add, uh, this is a Saturday uh, morning. I'd say it's about 11 o'clock right now. And you can hear on a weekend, it's still very quiet, just very peaceful. I'll stop talking so you can hear.
So today we have visited 900 New Hampton Way in Merritt Island, Florida. It's in the Catalina Isle Estates subdivision in central Merritt Island. Uh, if you would like more information about this house or any other house in Brevard, you can give me a call, Andy Barclay, at 514-9862, uh, area code 321-514-9862. My wife Abby and I are both full-time realtors with Remax Elite. Or you can go to our website to get more information about this house. Uh, you can visit www.brevardhomesandcondos.com and uh, you'll see pictures, another link to this video even though you're watching it now, and uh, just more specifics about the property. It's a beautiful home in a great location. Fantastic pool. I wish I had my bathing suit with me. <laughs> Quite inviting, I must say. Uh, but it's a, it's a great house, great location, large corner lot, amazing pool, and uh, you just can't beat being on the water if you're living in Florida. Again, if you'd like to know more about this house, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, you can text us or email us. And I thank you for watching.